realize the system function using minimum number of multipliers so whenever you see minimum number of multipliers you check whether the system function is symmetric so here we can see the first factor is 1 1 which is symmetric here again we can see this half is 1 1 which is also symmetric so it can be realized as a linear phase FAR filter so let us try to solve this one so given the system function so the minimum number of multipliers realization is possible when the filter is linear phase FAR filter so as a first step you can return this as a cascade system where h of z equal to 1 plus z inverse h of z equal to this one so by inspection it is evident that h1 of z and h2 of z are symmetric so it is possible to realize it in a linear phase FAR of cascade structure now let us realize this system function so we can realize this in a cascade form so first we can realize the h1 of z here we can see only one delay is there so first of all we can draw the single delay z inverse then the input to the delays then here we have an add and input to the add now the output of the add down here now here we can see the impulse response h of 0 equal to 1 so this is equal to 1 so h1 of z is over here we can give the input as x of n can give the add a mark here now we can draw the h2 of z here we can see three delay elements so the three delay elements we can drawn in parallel two in parallel and third one here then we can give the input then next the add is at the front of this delay elements then give the input to the add is okay now the output of these two add is no, h of 0 equal to 1 here then h of 1 equal to half and here we can give the add as so you have 3 delays and 3 add is this is the output of Officer. Now we can connect this in cascade form. So when we are connecting in cascade, we get the final structure in this pattern. So this is the final result of the given 
problem. So you have drawn the minimum number of multiply structure for the given system function using the linear phase FAR filter form. Thank you.